check, check. Check. Yeah, this one's assistant. So you can see it right there. So. Hey, Glenn. Good morning, everybody. How you doing? Pretty good? Okay. Good. Uh, thanks for being here this morning. And uh, there are lots of guests coming today. And so if uh, you're seated and there's an extra chair and you don't mind sliding over a little bit, that'd be great. Uh, I know we're, we love our spots, so I totally understand that. But if you could, there'll be room for some other people as they come in this morning. And that way the ushers can direct them. So Thank you for that. It's not bad having a full house, huh? Yeah. Amen, right? Okay. All right, let's, you're going to sing something. You got two songs today? Oh, this is going to be wonderful. It is the cry of my heart to follow you. It is the cry of my heart to be close to you. It is the cry of my heart to follow all of the days of my life. It is the cry of my heart to follow you. It is the cry of my heart to be close to you. It is the cry of my heart to follow all of the days of my life. If you can hold me, hold oh Lord, so I can walk in your truth. Teach me your holy ways, oh Lord, and make me holy, devoted to you. It is the cry of my heart to follow you. It is the cry of my heart to be close to you. It is the cry of my heart to follow all of the days of my life. Open my eyes so I can see the wonderful things that you do. Open my heart up more and more and make me wholly devoted to you. It is a cry of my heart to follow you. It is a cry of my heart to be close to you. It is a cry of my heart to follow all of the days of my life. It is a cry of my heart to follow you. It is a cry of my heart to be close to you. It is a cry of my heart to follow all of the days of my life. All of the days of my life. All of the days of my life. Of my seen the glory of the coming of the Lord. He's trampling out the vintage where the grapes of wrath are sown. He has loosed the faithful lightning of his terrible sick sword. His truth is marching on. Oh, 
Thank you. <laughs> Ushers, we have a few seats right down here on this side, uh, especially, and then over here as well, should we need them? Okay. Well, good morning. good morning. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Absolutely. What a glorious morning this is. It's Celebration Sunday for us, and we'll be talking a little bit more about that as well. Uh, yesterday was Veterans Day, and so uh, later in the service we'll be sharing a, a, a tribute and a thank you to our veterans, and so all part of today's worship together. A special welcome to visitors and guests who are here. We are so thankful for your being with us. God bless you as we share in this time of worship, and if there's any questions or, or things that you might need, there's a card on the back of the pew there that's a Connect card. You can write some things on there if you would like to get connected. Um, if you have a prayer concern, everyone, uh, please put that on there and we'll put it into the worship folder for next week as well. So thank you for sharing that with us. Uh, take a look at your bulletin. There are lots of different announcements in there. Is there anybody that has an announcement they would like to make this morning about an event that's coming up? Anybody? I, I'm, uh, yeah, right there. I just got one quick one this morning. Um, we are going to Urban Air later today, so if you're a kid who's signed up for that, um, either you can kind of hang out here after brunch until we leave around, or we're meeting here at noon. I'm going to be here the whole time, so if you want to hang out. Otherwise, go and grab lunch. We're going to be back here at noon. Um, if you are a middle schooler or high schooler who's like, oh, that sounds fun, we can still sneak you in. So if you want to get in, wow. let me know. Clay said we can fit roughly 250 people on the bus if we stack them just right. So uh, I played a lot of Tetris, so it would work out great. Sounds so. great. Thank you. Later in the service, we're going to have a, a, what we call a noisy offering, and that's on the second Sunday of the month. And uh, we kind of save up our quarters, nickels and dimes and pennies, and um, the kids walk around with a, a metal bucket for the offering plate, and we put our our coins in there as noisy offering, and there's usually a cause, and our cause uh, is to help with the Christmas child boxes, the expense of mailing them back and the cost of the boxes and the like. And so if you have coin today and would like to share in that noisy offering, please uh, put it in the bucket and let it uh, ring out, if you will. Uh, we also appreciate soft or silent uh, gifts as well in there, so please make note of that. But it's going to help the Christmas child boxes. Speaking of which, we got one more week uh, to return your box, and so 
Uh, if you uh, have yours at home and you've been preparing it and putting items in there, please uh, bring it in, uh, to the church here and we'll be sure it gets to where it needs to be. If you still want to do it, there are extra boxes. So take one home and this week go ahead and fill it up with the things that you would like to give to uh, a child in need somewhere around the entire world. And so uh, these Christmas boxes are a lot of fun and we get to hear back from fam- uh, places that it goes to. So very nice thing to do. All right. Um, after our service today, we have uh, anniversaries and birthdays, and then we will uh, invite you to come to the celebration brunch, and we have delicious French toast um, and uh, sausages and uh, scrambled eggs and orange juice, milk, and coffee. So we we'll hope you'll share in our celebration brunch, okay? All right, let's stand if you would. Let's begin by singing Shout to the Lord. invite you to reach out to the people beside you uh, across the aisle if you can and let's join the family of God together here this morning at peace let's bow our heads in prayer heavenly father as we begin this day we come before you we kneel and we humbly present ourselves uh, lord to you that you might use our lives for your service so bless us now lord as we worship come and be in our presence And remind us once again of your great victory for us. In your name we pray. Amen. 
Let's share the peace. Once you get started, it's kind of hard to slow back, isn't it? <laughs> well, let's join together in our confession and forgiveness. Lord, we pray to you this morning that you will open our heart, eyes to see the abundant blessings that you have provided. And then open our hearts to live generous lives as a reflection of that abundant love. Forgive us, Lord. We live our lives as if we are the center of everything. Help us acknowledge you as the source of all that we have and all that we are. Creator God, help us to place you first in our lives. Lord, we forget that your love changes our priorities and will guide us to be more loving and caring for our families and our neighbors in need. Lord, we need you when we lose our way and our wants and our desires overcome us. Forgive us, Lord, when we become preoccupied with material things. Help us, Lord, to find the true source of happiness and the fulfillment that we all seek and that you alone can provide. Lord, open our hearts and hands to share the first fruits of all that you have provided. Gracious God, help us to give joyfully of our time with those in need, our treasure to do your work, and our talents to serve meaningfully in our church, our community, and our world. Because of God's gracious love for you, Christ died on the cross and was raised from the dead for the forgiveness of your sins. You are forgiven. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, amen. I invite you to be seated if you would. Well, does anybody worry? Do any of you get a little anxious once in a while and worry about things? Or am I the only one? Okay, I start worrying and I go, oh, I don't know. It's uh, one of those things where I don't think anything is going to happen in the light. And so if you show the next slide for me. This is our... Wait, for, oh, can you pause uh, that? Thank you. This is our charter members of our church. Uh, not all of them, but this is uh, the ones that were able to come to a video. And with that... They want to say thank you um, to you for continuing the work that they began. And they didn't worry about it because they knew something important, and that was that it was in God's hands. And so here's Christy Middlestead sharing that with you this morning. We just wanted to thank the congregation for um, taking this journey with us and continuing our story what started as, as something, none of us knew how to, to start a church. It took a lot of faith. And it's without you, uh, we don't have a story. So thank you. There you go. Let's say a round of applause for our... Thank you. What began 12, 13 years ago continues now to today. And over 80 people shared their faith uh, statements and uh, turned those in in the past few weeks. 31 of those decided they're going to raise uh, their giving level. And then eight of them as well did it for the very first time. And those numbers just in the last couple of days have went up and you can see that it is $305,000 and $30. And so let's give a big round of applause for that total. Somebody asked me, uh, well, is that the end of it? Is that all that we can, uh, all that we can do? I can't turn one in. No, you can turn one in still. And so there are cards out there on the table. Uh, if you would like to do that today or if you need time to think about it, we will receive those continually. But uh, that's the total as of now, and we're just so thankful. We think of the Psalm 136. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. 
His steadfast love endures forever. And so please receive today, next slide, our thank you. Thank you all very much. And this is one last round of applause for all those wonderful things that God is doing. All right. We'd like to invite the children to come up, if they would, for, for jam time. Come on down front, kids. this morning. I love this. Um, I heard some whispers to say, what is that? What is this? You think there's candies inside? Well, what else is this? What does this look like? A present. Oh my goodness. You guys nailed it. It is a present. Um, And some of you said, I think it's for me. Who thought it was for them? Who thinks this is for them? Lena, you're right. Yep. Yep. We're writing back. Well, you think it's yours too? Well, you guys are actually all right. This is a present that's for everyone that's here, right? I'm going to show you a piece of this present. Are you ready? Okay, if you're really close to me, you have to turn away and pretend like you saw nothing in here. Are you ready? Okay. <laughs> Here's what's in my present. Have you seen this before? Or have one at home like this? <gasps> Yeah, some of you have. What do you call this? Does anybody know? Jesus. Oh, my goodness. I have him right here, Lena. You're right. This is Jesus. We call this a nativity. Call it, too. Do you have baby Jesus at your home, too? You do? You do, too? Well, guess what? Guess who sent us this gift, baby Jesus, to all of us? Who knows? God, God sent us this amazing gift for every single one of us. So when we wake up in the morning, a lot of times on Christmas morning, do you guys come downstairs or out of your bedrooms all excited because there might be something under a Christmas tree? Yeah. yeah, like a present. Well, we celebrate that to remember that God gave us the very best present of all, which is his son, Jesus, right? And now I'm going to do something that's ups in the room. Are you ready for this? There's one other part I want you to think about. Do you want to put baby Jesus together for me over there? Oh, that's really helpful. Thank you. Do you know that Jesus was also called the light of the world? Did you know that? So when God gave us Jesus as a gift, are you ready? I told you they're going to freak out. (laughs) This is Montessori right here, everybody. Don't worry. We'll, We'll keep it safe. When God gave us Jesus as a gift, Jesus was also the light of the world. And when Jesus came and he made all of his friends the disciples, he came to the world and said, I am the light of the world, and no one comes to the Father except through me. And then he gave another command. Do you know what he told us to be? Anybody have? He told us to be the light of the world with him inside us. He said, here's a gift. It's my my own son, Jesus. He's the light of the world. And when I give you the gift, I want you to be the light of the world, right? So one thing that we do as a church, light of the world, are you guys ready? Should we give one big blow? We'll blow out the light. Oh, but what do you see? Oh, still smoke. Yeah, so we still know it's there. All right, phew. All right, and we all survive. We're the light of the world. We do really special things like pack big packages and little packages, and big piles of packages, and we send them to kids who might not have presents under the tree at Christmas so that we can share the light of Jesus with them, right? So we call it Operation Christmas, right? Because it's kind of a big, it's a special present, but not just a present, but to remind them, hey, we have the best gift of all, and we want to share a little light of what that is with you, right? So if some of you are packing them, my kids love decorating the box. 
We have lots of shoeboxes like this that we decorate and we think about the people that they're going to and we pray for them. But if you're working on a box like this at home, could you guys remind your mom and dad it's due next week? Say, let's bring it in how big a pile we can make. All right, so we're going to do a different prayer today. I'd like us to pray for the boxes and the kiddos who are going to get the boxes all around the world. Does that sound good? All right, you ready? And then you can come and get the other present in here that's for all of you. Deal? All right. Dear Lord, we thank you for your gift. Help us to share it. And bless the kiddos who will receive these gifts. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, now you can come. Did you have a question? Good morning. Today's first reading comes from 1 Chronicles chapter 29, verses 10 through 14. And if you want to read along, it's in page uh, 427 of the Old Testament in your pew Bible. David praised the Lord in the presence of the whole assembly, saying, "Praise, Praise be to you, Lord, the God of our father Israel, from everlasting to everlasting. Yours, Lord, is the greatness and the power and the glory and the majesty and the splendor, for everything in heaven and earth is yours. Yours, Lord, is the kingdom. You are exalted as head over all. Wealth and honor come from you. You are the ruler of all things. In your hands are strength and power to exalt and give strength to all. Now, our God, we give you thanks and praise your glorious name. But who am I, and who are my people, that we should be able to give as generously as this? Everything comes from you, and we have given you only what comes from your hand. Here ends the first reading. The second reading comes from 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verses 6 through 8, and that's on page 1163 of your pew Bible. Remember this, whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly, and whoever sows generously will also reap generously. Each of you should give what you have decided to give in your, decided in your heart to give, not reluctantly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. And God is able to bless you abundantly, so that in all things, at all times, having all that you need, 
you will abound in every good work. Here ends the second reading. Thank you, Bill. I invite you to stand for the reading of the gospel. The Holy Gospel is from Matthew, the 25th chapter, beginning with the 14th verse. Again, it will be like a man going on a journey who called his servants and entrusted his wealth to them. To one he gave five bags of gold, to another two bags, and to another one bag, each according to their abilities. And then he went on his journey. And the man who had received five bags of gold went at once and put his money to work and gained five more bags. So also one with two bags of gold gained two more. But the man who received one bag went off, dug a hole in the ground, and hid his master's money. After a long time, the master of those servants returned and settled accounts with them. The man who had received five bags of gold brought the other five. Master, he said, you entrusted me with five bags of gold. See, I have gained five more. Well, his master replied, well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful with a few things. I will put you in charge of many. Come and share your master's happiness. The man who had two bags of gold also came. Master, he said, you entrusted me with two bags of gold. See, I have gained two more. And the master replied, Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful with a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Come and share your master's happiness. Then the man who had received one bag of gold came. Master, he said, I knew that you are a hard man, harvesting where you have not sown, gathering where you have not scattered seed. So I was afraid, and I went out and hid your gold in the ground. See, here is what belongs to you. His master replied, you wicked and lazy servant. So you knew that I harvest where I had not sown and gathered where I had not scattered seed. Well, then you should have put my money on deposit with the banker so that I would when I returned, I would receive back with interest. So take the bag of gold from him and give it to the one who has ten. For whoever will be given more, they will have an abundance. Whoever does not have even what they have will be taken from them. The gospel of our Lord. Thanks be to God. Please be seated. Let's let's begin with prayer. Would you join me, please? Heavenly Father, this morning I I pray that you would direct us. Direct us in all that we do. Through your word today, Lord, give us your continual help. That in all our story, begun and continued and ended in you, we may glorify your holy name through Jesus Christ, our Savior and our Lord. Amen. Well, good morning. Is it hot in here? I don't know. I should have wore a t-shirt and shorts. Now nah, that probably wouldn't have been a good idea. Well, this is a big Sunday. I mean, there's a lot of stuff going on. We have many things happening this morning. Uh, we're celebrating the many households at peace and in our community who gathered together here today um, to to give thanks to God for all that we have been provided with. You know that there was a, Mark's going to share with you some numbers on this later, but um, there were a whole bunch of uh, youth from our community from a variety of different churches, and they went throughout the community and they asked for food donations to help fill the shelves at the food shelf. And they did, and they collected, um, he'll tell you the exact number, but it was a lot, and uh, it was so nice to see people respond out of the goodness of their heart and out of generosity, right? Uh, I have to share a little bit because because it's a personal story and it's it's a kind of a confession, I have to admit. And um, Carrie Summer, who was up here doing the uh, children's message, uh, she and Grady and uh, came stopped at my house on on Sunday or Saturday and 
and knocked on the door, rang the doorbell, and um, reminded me that I should have food to give to the food shop. <laughs> um, and so I ran and grabbed a, a bag and emptied out most of the cupboard and, and put it in there. You see, sometimes we don't know when we are, uh, what it is and when it is to respond. I may make an excuse for myself, but when we're asked, we respond generously. We offer our gifts with gladness as we do that. So one of the things we're doing today is we're celebrating how it is that we receive those gifts and how it is that we hand them and share them with others. A little later on in our service, too, We're going to celebrate our youth, our children in particular, because they're going to get up front here and they're going to sing a a little song called This Little Light of Mine, and I am thankful with that. And we, we celebrate, right? We celebrate them and the gift of music that they have and the heart they have to sing and to share. Well, I told you that it was going to be a big Sunday today, and it is in lots of different ways because... Uh, We're going to lift up, uh, as you have heard already, the Christmas child boxes and how that gift goes out. And one of the things I really like about that is that there's a there's a little slip of paper in there and you can check off the box for that. And they will let you know where this box ends up. And as uh, Nicole and others have shared about that, you'll hear the story of of where this box went to and, and who received it and the gifts that were given. That makes it all the more special and all the more that we should celebrate. You know, each month, uh, the second Sunday of the month, we do the noisy offering, too. And that that was fun to watch uh, as you uh, put your coin in there or your soft, quiet money uh, as well. When we're provided the opportunity to give and to share, we realize the abundance of what we have and we respond to God's goodness as we share it with others. And so we celebrate the young people and the noisy offering and all of that. On the second Sunday of the month, we get to do yay gods as well. And the beauty of that often is is when someone will stand up, because nobody really likes to talk in front of the large group, but they'll share a yay god about how a prayer was answered. Or someone who had been sick or receiving treatment is doing better. Uh, or how uh, one of our teams uh, uh, has done great and won uh, a tournament or whatever. Uh, Those things that we are thankful for, we lift up. And so all reasons to celebrate. Not only that, but uh, on the Sunday following Veterans Day here, we're going to honor our veterans, those who have served, that we're thankful for, and those uh, um, men and women who are a part of our congregation. And that is something, too, that we just say thank you, God, for people who will defend our our freedom and protect us. And so we give thanks for our, our veterans and celebrate that. You know, at the end of the service, um, we kind of we kind of get to the point where we share about birthdays and anniversaries. That's a that's kind of a peace thing that we do. And. Yeah, it's nice, uh, birthdays, right, anniversaries. But isn't it about the relationships that we have, um, that we give thanks to God for, that we celebrate with that? Um, We belt out happy birthday and happy anniversary with the best uh, that we possibly can. Joanne plays it beautifully, but, uh, you know, not all of us have the gift of song, so we, we do our best too. But it's those relationships that really matter. And, of course, the cupcake is the final frosting. Celebration Sunday. We are literally thankful to God for having provided all of these things. You see, my friends, that is our story. All those things together and many more are our story as individuals who are here in faith and as a church together. That's our story. When somebody comes up to us and says, well, what church do you go to? Or, or what's your story, if you will? We unfold that. And often the phrase that comes to mind for me is that God is good. And everyone responds all the time. God is good. 
It is the Lord's generosity that we lift before us. And we can't forget that because every day we struggle with it because we start to think that it is ours instead of what God has done and is going to do for us. So part of our task as brothers and sisters in Christ is to remind each other of that. Remind each other that God loved us so much that he gave his one and only son, Jesus, to die on the cross. And if we believe in him, if we have faith, we will not perish but have eternal life. What a thing to be be reminded of each and every week as we worship together. Well... Some of you know that I enjoy uh, the musical Fiddler on the Roof. Uh, one of the greatest sadnesses and disappointments in my life is that I've never been asked to actually sing in the musical. There's probably a good, good reason for that. Now? Well! I know better. There's a song. It's called, If I Were a Rich Man. Are you familiar with it? It's a great song. The main character, Tevia, he's in the barn. He's doing the chores. He's feeding the chickens and the ducks and the cow and the like. And he starts to sing. And he's kind of singing to himself, but he's also singing to God. And he's posing the question, if I were a rich man, this is what my life would be. If I were a rich man, I wouldn't have to work hard. I would have a large house. I would have stairways that would go up to the top to many rooms or one stairway just going nowhere at all just to show off. If I were a rich man, I could have all these things. My wife would have everything she needs and she would look great with her double chin, he says. If I were a rich man... What Tevia realizes at the, towards the middle and at the end as he talks through all of these things is that indeed he is a rich man. My friends, that's our story too. That we have to realize that we are rich. We are rich in God's grace and the abundance and generosity that God provides for us through his son Jesus Christ for which we are thankful And today we celebrate. That's our story. We are rich beyond compare. And when we forget, we need to be reminded. And so all of us can remind each other of God's goodness. And that's a story worth sharing. Amen? Amen. Amen. We're going to sing a song. And this is, I love to tell this story. And so please stand, if you would, as we sing this together.
Let's confess together the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. I invite you to be seated, if you would. Uh, Veterans Day was yesterday, the 11th day of the 11th month at the 11th hour. And there was uh, many celebrations, but uh, for us on this given Sunday, we want to recognize uh, the veterans who are with us here here today. And so if uh, you're a veteran, would you please stand up at this time so that we could honor you and thank you for your service. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, we're going to see a slideshow of, of uh, these veterans and others who uh, maybe couldn't have been here today. And so you'll get to see pictures of them. Uh, some are from days gone by, uh, and their names are there, so you'll recognize them. Um, but also we have Joanne, who has uh, put together a compilation of all of the anthems from all of the branches of service. And so uh, that'll be played at the same time. So we could lower the lights a little bit there. And uh, are you ready to go, Emily? All right, join.
<laughs> Thank you, Joanne. <laughs> Um, this is a time where we uh, have uh, yay gods to share. And so are there some yay gods that you would like to lift up here, if you would? Anybody have a yay god this morning that they would like to say? Oh, here's, here's one from Bob. First off, I have to show this picture, that wonderful gift I got from Derek. He colored it for me. Nice. But, colored within the lines. Yeah. Yeah. And the second thing was when I saw these kids up here, it reminded me that Janet and I went over and had our eyes checked a couple, couple weeks ago. And uh, when they put the stuff in your eyes and they dilate, the, the eye doctor was telling me this story. When I saw the kids here, it made me think of this. And he said that he had this 90-year-old patient, and they got to talking, and he said, they were talking about their kids, and the, and the guy said, yeah, he said, I, I just, my son just upsets me all the time. He never puts his tools away when he goes into the shop and all that stuff. And, and the eye doctor started talking about his kids, and he said, wait a minute, you're, 90, you're in your 90s, how old's your kid? And he said, he's 72. <laughs> and, the, and the eye doctor said, isn't it true that no matter how old you are, you're always somebody's kid? Yeah, amen to that. Yeah, God, huh? Yeah. Got Carol back here, Mark, if you want to swing back there. Good morning. First of all, I'd like to thank all those who served in our country, for our country over the years. I um, am so thankful today for an uncle who was in uh, World War II. He is still living. He just had his 105th birthday this year. Wow. 106, God willing, if he lives until January 1st. Um, he was on uh, in the senior perspective, and he was also on WCCO this week, David Jurgensen. He's from Cyrus, Minnesota. All right. Let's say a yay God for him, huh? Thank you, God. Yeah. Thank you, Carol. Anybody else have a yay God? We got uh, several over on this side too, so take your time, Mark. No hurry. Um, I would like to say a yay God for um, the Operation Christmas Child. It, that goal is 125 boxes, and those are due um, November 19th. But the, the yay God is. The trick-or-treat for food shelf collected 2,366 pounds of food and wow. $808. That so is fantastic. So that's awesome. And the yeah. pictures are up there. Hey, God. Thank you. That is great. Emily? I just want to say, yay, God. I got my acceptance letter to... South Dakota State last Tuesday, so I'll be going to school with Mallory. Oh Super my gosh. About it. <laughs> uh, we'll pray for you. <laughs> Anybody else have a yay God they'd like to share this morning? Anybody? Well, uh, going, going. Anybody? Oh, Colette. I'm going to piggyback on that one a little bit. Um, I actually was listening last night to one of the programs from the church that my girls go to up in South Dakota, or over in South Dakota, I should say. Um, and it's actually a church, church congregation that Mark and Gladys had um, helped them find. And they have a youth program for um, young adults and college students on Sunday nights. And they had a vision about 15 years ago of starting this program and it went from 150 kids to this last September to 900 kids on oh a Sunday gosh. night. Oh, my gosh. And so just amazing prayers answered on that end and a, a wonderful opportunity for our kids to flourish while they're at college and grow in their faith. So yay, God, for that. Absolutely. Yeah, yay, God. Wow. 
Well, thank you for sharing those, yay gods. Please, uh, during our breakfast, our celebration brunch together, uh, please share some more that you have in your life and give thanks to God for all the blessings we received. Uh, I'll just throw uh, one last in. Uh, one uh, Last night, Stephanie called. She's in Washington, D.C. She's uh, with my niece, who uh, was about to have a baby and had a baby last night. So we got a new grandnephew uh, that came into the world, for which we're very thankful. So yay, God, for that. And, and equally thankful for Stephanie coming home sometime soon. Oh, we're going to receive our offering this morning, and so uh, we'll pass the plates. And thank you for your gifts that you share. And our young people are going to come up and uh, share with us their songs and music. I invite you to stand if you are able. Let us pray for the whole people of God in Christ Jesus and for all people according to their needs. Heavenly Father, we want to lift before you this day our congregation and our church family. We want to give you thanks for the comfort and healing that you bring to the lives of Jeremy and Renata, Robert and Glenn, Karen and Tom, Curtis and Haley, Jill and Lily and Mary Ann. Lord, in your mercy, 
And Lord, too, this day we want to thank you for bringing healing and comfort to our families and to our friends. For Jim and Evelyn, for Carol, for Jim, for Lauren and Ann, for Betty Jo and Phyllis and Betty and Annette, for Brian and Albert and Kate, for Christina and Mary, and for um, for Stephanie and Terry and Gary and Cammy and Jill and Jean. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And Lord, for all those this day who are grieving the loss of a loved one, we just want to lift up the families to you and pray that you would remind them once again of the promise that was given to them of a resurrection and eternal life to come. Lord, in your mercy. And Lord, we're grateful. We are so grateful for the gifts that people have put forward to support the ministry here, for the abundance that you have provided, and for those who share it. Lord, in your mercy. And for our partners in ministry, for LCMC churches and Augustana District churches, especially for St. Peter's Lutheran Church in Sanborn, New York, and Tahoma, Tahoma Lutheran in Maple Valley, Washington. Lord, in your mercy. Lord God, too, we ask this day that we give thanks for those who serve in our military, for those who have served in our military, and for those who have given of themselves. Lord, in your mercy. And Lord, lastly, for law enforcement and first responders and frontline workers and all those who share in protecting and serving our community, we give you thanks. Lord, in your mercy. For all of these prayers, Lord, both spoken and unspoken, we trust and place in your care this day as you taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it was in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with his favor and give you his peace. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's sing. I invite you to be seated, if you would. It's birthdays and anniversaries, and so we want to uh, lift up all of those who... Heather, you're back! I am. <laughs> it's not me! <laughs> Good morning! It is November birthdays and anniversaries time. So, um, not as many couples decided to get married in November. Um, I'm probably sure they're from Minnesota. Um, okay, so let's start. Anniversaries on November 6th, celebrating 30 years, John and Deb Wasser. On November 13th, celebrating 25, Carl and Faye Rothenberger. On the 19th, celebrating 18 years, Josh and Carrie Summer. On the 20th, 
celebrating nine years, Evan and Sarah Pavick. On the 24th, celebrating double ones, Jared and Holly Hokanson. And the 29th, celebrating 54 years, Bob and Kathy Rickenberg. Is there anybody with an anniversary in November? All right, well, let's sing. Happy anniversary to you. Happy anniversary to you. Happy anniversary, dear members. Happy anniversary to you. Yay! Um, Hokinson's, you didn't smooch. Oh, I'm calling them out totally, and they're disregarding me. Uh-huh, yeah, I'm talking to you. All right, it's okay. All right, they've got kids. You know how that goes. Um, all right, November birthdays. On November 1st, we have Brock Christensen, Lydia Marquette, and Vanessa Schroeder. On November 2nd, we have Joan Nesvald and Tanner Schmidt. On the 6th, we have Evan Pavick. On the 7th, we have Emily Sandquist and James Walls. On the 8th, Sharon Weinserl. The 9th, Nathan Springer. The 10th, Sloan DeMules and Levi Meyer. The 11th, Grace Carlin and Jamie Feltman. The 12th, Nicole Anderson. The 13th, Tanya Gosha. The 14th, Andrea Plain and Sue Zierman. The 15th, Terry Christensen and Michaela Thorson. The 17th, Isa DeMules, and, oh, and then the 18th, Sloan M Miller. The 20th, Declan Guth and Glenn Hawley and Nancy Sandin. The 23rd, we have our own Gladys Nissen. The 25th, Dave and Schrader. The 26th, Adelaide Cherry and Sophia Marquette and Nikki McClurg. The 27th, Carolyn Foster, Jack Schultz, and Rafe St. Aubin. And the 28th, Bill Horniman. The 29th, Davin Dobbinspeck and Tim Hewen. Anybody else in November? Nada? All right. Oh, oh, okay. Yes. It's your birthday? November 4th? And what is your first name? Aubrey? Avalyn. Come on up. Get a cupcake, sister. Anybody else? What? Wait for it. What? Oh, Blake. Hi. Hi, Blake. What day is your day? November 24th for Mr. Blake. I love it. Anybody else? Anybody else? <laughs> okay. Let's sing. Happy birthday. Just uh, relax a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm looking for some signal here that we're ready. Two minutes. Okay. Yeah, that would be great. Oh no, 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 no. not gonna happen. You got one? We got you covered, Pastor. We're going right. to go back to this one. Let's sing our prelude then. Or postlude. This is a good one. And as you've seen the glory of the coming of the Lord, drinking out the vintage where the grapes of wrath are stored. He has loosed the faithful lighting of this terrible of sword. His truth is marching on. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. 
Right, yeah. All right, I've, I've been given the, the word from uh, the folks out there that we are all set for the celebration brunch. Uh, there are three lines, uh, one on each side of the table this way, and then one at the counter. So you have uh, three lines to go in. Uh, thank you for coming today. Go in peace and serve the Lord.